Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. This is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I, and my pal, Terry Young, who's another chef. And we love to do different things together. And this one is a Japanese. Tell us what we're making today first, Terry. We're going to make a soup. Um, I can't pronounce it. It's a that. Japanese nabayaki udon soup. Okay. How about that? Okay, so first we're going to start off with six cups of um, prepared dash eye stock. Okay. And then what, Terry? You're going to add your chicken, which Not is a quarter of a pound of chicken cut into chunks. That's that. Whoops. And then what, Terry? Two diced carrots. And we diced, she diced them. Okay. We're going to put in one third cup of soy sauce. So you can see that. Okay. The um, three tablespoons of Mary. Mirin. 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 Okay. A half of a. Uh, no. What is that? It's a half a cup of sugar. Sugar. Okay. A half, half a cup a, of sugar? Half a tablespoon. Oh, a half a tablespoon. I was going to say, that doesn't look like a half a. Okay, and then what? This is one third cup of teaspoon of salt. Okay. You can because I can't put it, I can't eat it. Only. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, then what? Then we are going to put in two um, 12 ounce um, packages of firm tofu. Tofu. And we, we dice those into little squares. Into you squares. can see that. You can see how they are. They're little squares. And they look really good. Now what, Terry? And then we sliced mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms. Right. And that's... One third of a pound. Yeah. All right. Okay. The next we have the uh, bok choy. We did five ribs and uh, the leaves. And the leaves. And you just chop those up. Yeah. You chopped all that. See, it's a lot. And then leeks. No, that's the bok choy. That's the bok choy. Okay, hold on. I need to move this in here a little. This is a lot in here. Yeah, but that will cook right that down. That will cook right down. Now, we're doing it a little different. We're putting it on our um, slow cooker way because we have so many recipes that we have to do today. So this will all cook very nicely. Now, what about the noodles? The fresh pack of noodles. Okay, and what about the leeks? The, oh, they're not in this recipe. Right? I need to, um, all right. Maybe what we should do is put this on the stove. What do you think? That's fine. I need to, huh? Um, when do you put the eggs in? Oh, crack them and put them in now. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. And then, what does it say about the eggs, Terry? I, I think you have to wait until Just, they're... Just, um... Until they're totally done. Right. And those leeks don't go in yet? <laughs> Two diced leeks. Two diced leeks. Okay. All right, we're doing that right now. The leeks are right here. Okay, and I have to put a little bit more in, and then we're done. You know, um, this is this is going to be really tasty. Um, this is one soup that a lot of people in Japan love. And actually, 
This program is for uh, Asian, Japanese, Asian culture, and Hispanic culture because there there's a week that is devoted to that, um, and we're this doing week, it yes. this week, right? So that's pretty cool. So we're going to put a top on that, I think, or we're okay. going to put it on the stove and heat it up, okay? Alrighty. All right, we'll do that. So hold on. I'm sorry. I put your top away. Oh. I had to get it back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so that's all right. Away. That's all right. So we're going to be right back in a minute. We're going to show you our next recipe, um, and that will be the... Um, let's do the uh, cheesecake. Because it takes time in the oven. It takes about 25 minutes, but it's called a green tea green cheesecake. Tea. This is all Japanese. We'll be right back. We're back on the Chef You and I, and we're now making the dessert. And Carrie, what is that dessert? Green tea cheesecake. Have you ever had that before? No. Oh my gosh, this is really weird. But it is so gorgeous when you finish with it. So the first thing we're going to do, would you give me the ingredients first, Terry? Yes, um, two ounces of um, cream cheese softened. Two eight ounces. Two eight ounces. Right. And then uh, two beaten eggs. Three three-fourths cups of white sugar, mm -hmm. one tea tablespoon of the green tea powder, and um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then um, a, a graham cracker crust. So the first thing that we're going to do, I think, is we're going to cream the cream cheese and the sugar. So can you hand me right. the sugar? Okay, so what we're going to do is slowly... So you want to get this done because when you're creaming it, it has to be what's good and smooth. So it's not going to take very long to cream this, Terry. Right. And you're going to beat the eggs first? Yes. So after we get this creamed, we're going to add the eggs and the vanilla and the green powder, right? Right. I think we're there, Terry. All right, so now that we've beat this, what do we add to it? The beaten eggs? We're going to beat the eggs. Right. And then pour that in. Okay. Got it. Right. After that, we're going to put in one tablespoon of the green tea powder. Right. And that's going to change what it looks like, right? Yes. It looks like monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so then what? Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Right. So I'm going to have to use the beaters again to make this right. work, right? That's why I wore... Whoops! Didn't mean to get you wet. Sorry. Right, put that down there. I gotta wash my hand off. And then after we pour that into the um, pie crust, we're gonna cook it for 25 minutes on 350. Dude, this does look green, Terry. If you do that, I'd appreciate it. I've never seen anything like this before. It almost looks like lime, yeah. doesn't it? They love, Japanese love sweets. And they do. They do. Okay, I think we can pour that in there. Okay. We're going to put that right there. Okay, and I'm going to take that out. All right, can you can you get that for me? I'll put that over here. Okay. And I think that our oven is ready, actually, so let's pour this in. So you leave this interior until it wiggles, it said. Okay. 
And then we're going to decorate it with really pretty red berries. I'll be right back with this. Okay, so now, hold on a second. You want to put that in the oven is ready, Terry. All right. Here, I'll actually. Oh, we have to turn this way down. All right. And that'll so, go in for 25 minutes. Right. Okay, and we need to stir this actually. Oops. We need to stir the soup. And oh, that looks good because you're you added the chicken to it. And so what we could do is we could put this on to keep it warm, Terry. We could put this on the um uh, what do you call it? I can't think of the name of it. Um, the little uh, what immersion it? heater. Yeah. Okay. So that's looking good. And actually, the eggs cook in it. So you can see the yolks coming out. Right. See the, the yolks chunks. there? Yes. Right. So that's what happens. So we can keep this warm until we get ready to eat. And that'll be good. So, um, actually, the next thing we're doing, Terry, is we're doing our uh, our beef that we're going to serve our uh, Japanese uh, pork ribs, and we're putting that. Actually, we cooked them ahead of time because the show is only an hour, and it cooks takes two hours to cook. So, what we're doing is we're going to brown them, right? Yes. And I'm going to use a uh, browning type um, scale, like a stir fry, to get them brown. And we're going to add all of the ingredients that you put on them, right? And they're going to be delicious. And then we'll put them in the oven just for a little while to, to really heat them up. Okay. We'll be right back after these messages with Terry Young, uh, our guest chef, and myself, Catherine Raker. We'll be right back. We are back on the chef, you and I, and actually we pre-cooked the, the ribs to make sure that they were done. And now we're going to brown them and then add all those wonderful ingredients, which makes them be Japanese style braised pork ribs. So what I'm going to do is if you turn that down behind me, Terry, okay, and we're making them into kind of like individual uh, ribs. And actually this was three pounds or more. So, right, so let's see, one, two, three, four, okay. And then I've got another one in there already. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this whole thing over here and I'm gonna brown these to give them a, a, a browned look, right? And I just turned them over and I'll put each one of them in here. And if the camera wants to come over and look at this, they can, so. And I'm using my stir fry pan from 360 pans. I could not live without this pan. I use it almost twice or three times a, a week. Okay. So we're just browning these just to give them a little crispness. Because I didn't, I used my, I used a hot pot um, and um, to make, actually, to make this go a little faster because when you're, only have an hour show. You don't want to wait three or four hours to to make it happen. So we'll let that turn it up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going, in a few minutes, we're going to, to make the sauce. So we'll let them brown. And then when they're crispy like this one is, we need a plate, a new plate, to put them on. And then we've heated the oven, right? Can you hold that for me, Terry? Okay. So that one's done. All right. And you've seen these before in the restaurant, right? You've seen Japanese. Right. You've seen them. And um, there's another one that's done. Yay. So we'll cook that one a little bit. And we'll cook this one. Turn it down just a little bit. So they look really good. I can't wait to try them. They smell good. Yeah, they do. And we, we do, Terry and I do a lot. Um, with pork and 
we have 360 pans and you can go up on our website and order them with my code and I'll give that to you before the end of the show and that one's almost done and then we'll put more in there and as soon as we do that that one's done all right and then we'll add that sauce and oh man that sauce is going to be delicious isn't it put these in there all right so you, you break them apart. I usually, when I make spear ribs, I don't do this, but you need to do it with this. We'll turn that down a little bit, because that's really popping. So you can put that down, Terry, for a few minutes. And Terry, would you tell them what we're putting in our sauce, if you don't mind? So we used um, the three pounds of baby back ribs, and she cut them into um, each individual rib. And we are going to add um, soy sauce, um, honey, olive oil, sake, sake and uh, green onions. And that will be making our um, glaze over the top. Okay, these look like they're pretty well done. I don't want to lose them off the thing, so if you would give me the plate again. And then we're going to pour the... Are we going to actually put these into the bowl terry took to do that or what mix in the bowl and then um put them are you going to put them in the oven after yes that? for just a right. little while so i'm going to go ahead with um two-thirds cup of soy sauce one third cup of the uh, sake Two tablespoons of olive oil, and then um, three tablespoons of honey. Three tablespoons of honey. And you put the sake in already, right? Right. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cover these. Are we going to put them in there and cover them, or what? Um, yeah, we just dip them in. And do you put that in there too already? Um, or do you do that at the end? Sure. We might leave that out. I'd minute. leave that out. And then put these in, right? Right. So you want to cover these. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so delicious. I can't believe it. All right. And then we're going to put those on a pan. Right. Um, one of the, ba uh, yeah. We've got a 360 uh, pan out. We'll get that pan out that's in the, we'll take a short break here. All right. So now we're back and we're putting the ribs into the oven. And actually, these are going to be so delicious. I mean, the smell of this is unreal. I'm going to put some more sauce on here. Right, we'll just pour, you know, it. <laughs> pour over it because I'll tell you, it's so delicious that I can't believe it. Here, we'll take that out of there. Here you go. I don't want you to get it. That's okay. Okay. You kind of get, unfortunately, when you're cooking, you get really kind of a little bit dirty and stuff. You can't help it. Right, so let's pour that over this. Oh my gosh, does that look good? All right, so now we're gonna put it in the oven. We're gonna, we're gonna, do you wanna put the onions on top of it yet? Do you want to? Go for it. We'll do some now and some. And then some later. So this is what it looks like when it's gonna go in the oven. Wait till you see what it looks like when it's done. We'll be right back. We're back with Terry Young, our guest chef, and myself. And we're going to make a salad, and then we're making the salad dressing. And then, which I'm really excited about, we're going to make sushi. Yes. Okay. So the first thing, um, I'm going to go ahead and make the salad, which is actually a cucumber, right? This is, I'm trying to do it as easy as I can. And we're going to use lots of different salads, uh, lettuce, right, tomatoes, uh, carrots, and this looks delicious, green and green onion. And then tell us what you're putting ingredient-wise for the Japanese part of the salad. Um, we will use um, two tablespoons of um, marin wine, sweet wine. Mm -hmm. And then I have... Um, one tablespoon of champagne wine. Mm -hmm. We have 
one and a half tablespoon of sunflower oil. Right. We have um, one and a half tablespoons of hazelnut oil. We have a teaspoon of sugar, white sugar. And um, a quarter of a, a spoon of ro um, roasted sesame oil. Wow, that's a lot of different kinds of oil, isn't it, Terry? It is. And then you have a little bit of a fourth of a teaspoon of um, ground ginger. That sounds great. That looks great. Is that going to be enough for what we've got here? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll find out, right? What so for. that's what it calls for. Do you think we might have to double it? What do you think? No, I won't use any on mine. So oh, okay. All right. So what we're doing actually is we're chopping up the tomatoes right now. And actually, Japanese cooking isn't really that hard. Pretty easy. Um, and unfortunately, Terry can't eat a lot of soy. She's can eat salt. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do salt, and I don't do garlic. And the one good thing about this recipe is there's no garlic in any of the things that we did today, <laughs> which really shocked me beyond belief. Because every time we make we do a cooking show, Catherine has to deal with not eating part of it if we're putting garlic in it. So we're going to put the tomatoes in there, okay? And then I'm going to use another kind of uh, salad. So you see that? That's really pretty. So we'll add that to it. And this is all different kinds of lettuces. And my hands are clean, just to let you all know. I washed them before we did this. And then we're just going to add this, the right? Carrots. Okay, and then add the carrots which I love these kind of carrots, don't you? Yeah, the shredded is nice to use. Yeah, nice shredded carrots. And then a few green onions. We're going to use these for yes. something else besides that. And, and then we're going to actually dress it, right? And so I've got these for you, right? I'm okay. Take a little bit out so I can eat it. Oh sure. Go right ahead. Let me do that. Let me get you let me get you a salad plate. And because some of the things Terry can't have. Right. Right? And she loves salad. That makes a big difference, right? And I put everything in it that you like, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll put that separate. And then we'll pour on this dressing. Okay. And mix it all in. Mm-hmm. You want me to add some more lettuce to it, Terry? No. no that's really. fine. That looks really good. And then we'll plate that, Terry. Let me get a couple plates out. Because we can't per forget the producer, right? And I'm going to shut that. I'm going to shut that cabinet right now. So, right there. And this is for our sushi. And we've still got our uh, beef ribs in there. Um, They're just heating. That's all. Yeah. And then I'm good. Let's let's plate those, and then we're done with that. And then I can move all this out of the way, Terry. Well, that smells good with that dressing. I wish I could have some. I wish you could too. Here. All right. That looks really good. And we're going to show you in a few minutes how beautiful this all is with some of the things that are already done, right? Yes. Here, let's put this in here. Hold on. And we'll put these right here. And this is Terry's, so we'll do that, right? And then um, we'll be right back after these important messages. Um, we're going to show you the soup that's done now. And also we're going to make the sushi real quick. And you'll be able to see that as well. We'll be right back. Okay, so I think. We're back 
on The Chef, you and I, with guest chef Terry Young and myself, Catherine Rake. We are now going to show you how to make sushi. So, and it's our first time, right? Or is it your second time? It's my second time. It's your second time. Well, what can I tell you? So anyhow, you are going to do the vegetable ones. I'm going to do the shrimp ones, right? Yes. So the first thing that we are going to do is to add some... Right, we're going to add... Um a little rice we have rice that we made earlier, and now we're going to put in um, table a teaspoon, two teaspoons of sugar. Whoops! Right, it goes over here. I'm sorry. And then um, four tablespoons of the um, rice wine vinegar. So it, it actually breaks it apart a little bit. And if you're just putting it on when it's hot, it cools it down. Right, Terry? Right. So what she's going to do is now make sure that it's dissolved, right, Terry, right. before you put it in there. So it doesn't take that long. But we're going to make um, different kinds of sushi, um, two or three different rolls. Um, we're going to use a lot of vegetables, and um, and then we're going to do a shrimp one. So we're going to use avocado, we're going to use cucumber, squashes, carrots, and green onions. Okay. So, you want me to do it with my hands, actually? Or it'll come up. So you want to mix it so you can, because it's really sticky, because this is sushi rice. Right. And so we've got little bowls of water that when you're putting it actually onto the rice paper, um, it's going to, the rice is going to stick to your hands and to the gloves. Right, Terry? Yes. So does your family love this? Yes. They lo love sushi. They like just the veggie, though. The veggie. Okay, so as soon as she gets done with that, then she's going to hand me the, the papers. And like I said, you're going to put the shiny side down and the rough side um, actually up. Right. And there's a technique to do this, which is pretty simple, actually. But once we get it done, it's going to be gorgeous. Okay. All right? Yes. Okay, so now we need some uh, rice paper. Nori. Nori. We're using nori. Okay. That's a couple of sheets. Huh? Is that more than one sheet? So this is the shiny side. Right, Terry? Yes. And then we want to put the shiny side down, right? This, this is the shiny side. Really? Okay, we'll do it your way. Okay, we'll do it my way. Okay, <laughs> who cares? Right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take some of the rice, right? Right. And we're going to put the rice onto the paper. Right. And this is what they're talking about. You get it on your hands and it's hard to get it off of there. And you're going to spread it around, right, Terry, to the very, almost the very end. Right. Am I correct? So that's where we are. And and then we're going to add in the center of it, we're going to add our ingredients, our vegetables and stuff. And I'm going to use the shrimp. So let me get that in there. Is that right, Terry? We'll find out in a minute. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put, um, you're going to do vegetables and I'm going to do shrimp. Right. And, no. And vegetables. Yeah. I'm going to do shrimp okay. and vegetables. So. I'm going to put in some um, green onion, and you can um, put in some uh -huh. and Then I'm going to put some cucumber, and some um, avocado, a little bit of carrot. And this is zucchini. And um, we have uh, some uh, yellow squash. Okay, so now we're going to actually roll it. Right. So I'm going to move this so you can see. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to bring it all the way over to about here. The rice, right. And then we're going to push it down, right? 
right. right there. So that it looks like when I go like this, you'll see that part of it, see? Okay, so then what we want to do is go a little further. And then push it down. Wait a minute. I have to come back this way, though. And you kind of do that, right, Terry? And then you roll it. And no. So now you've got the complete roll. Right. And we're going to put these over here on here because we're going to do another one, right? Okay. It's like making tamales. Hello. So we need another one of those, but I've got to clean that off. All right, so it goes this way, right? Now, what you want to do again is you want to get your hands not so sticky, but you want this again. So I'm going to do um, some green onions this time, right? Hold on. It's kind of messy, but it's really delicious, and it's not that hard to do. My daughter was really surprised, Terry, <laughs> that we were making this, right? Because she, I think she loves sushi. I'm not sure about that. But anyhow, I want, I want to get some green onions over there. And I think I'm going to do this in the center like that, right? And I think I'm just going to cut these a little different. I'm going to cut it like that and put it like that. Because when I saw some of the films that they already have, I'm going to put a lot more in there because certain people really love shrimp. Right? So you could actually put some hot sauce in there, right? Which we could do. But we're not going to. So we're going to put some avocado in here, right? And maybe some carrots. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So you can make it the way you want it. So, I don't know if I put carrots with shrimp. Do you just shrimp? No, I don't know. Maybe. Well, avocado would be good. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of cucumber, right? Oh, I'm gonna oh here. The... Here's some of that. Okay, so we're going to start again. We're going to get this right this time, not a problem, right? Because you do want some rice on the end, okay? And take that out a little bit, okay? So here I go. I'm going to go like this and come all the way over to here, Terry. Right. Right, and push it down. Okay, and then, let's see, it's sticking. You know, maybe doing it with, um, actually, um, with, um, um, what do you call that? Okay, and now I'm going to take it and go, go like this, right? And then come all the way over to here, right? Right. And then just go like that. And then come up like this. I'm going to scoot your um, huh? ones with shrimp on. <laughs> okay. So it said it would have a little extra here. And they said you don't have to cut it off. You can just do that. Right. And then here we go. We've got four. And look at that. And we're going to cut them, Terry and actually serve those. Uh, and so we'll be right back on the Chef You and I after we actually uh, cut them, all right, and then put them on a serving plate, okay? So let's do that. We're back on the Chef You and I, and Terry, this is the piece de resistance. We're going to cut these, and then you're going to cut yours because we'll clean the knife off when I'm done with this, okay? okay. So this is the shrimp one, right? So we're going to do that, right? You want a really sharp knife for this. So we are cutting our sushi. It looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. Actually, I did sneak one. Terry. <laughs> so um, I made the ones with the shrimp 
and different ones. So that's the way it is. So I'm going to get this done so that you can cut yours, right? Okay. And so maybe I should maybe I should save that one for me. How about that? <laughs> Does that sound good to you? I think these three are mine. Okay, so I'll clean this off real quick for you. And you can tell it's sticky rice, right? Okay, all right, so here are the ones. Okay, let me wipe this off. And we're going to show you what the pie looks like in a minute and bring the barbecued ribs out. But since I have more sticky rice, we can actually make more if we want to, right? Yeah. So she's doing the, uh, the other ones. And I'm going to take a little bowl and put um, actually on a plate and put these other sushi rolls right here. Okay, and we'll give these to the producer who loves shrimp, right? Those look really pretty. Right. And the, you had carrots in there, and you had... I just put all the vegetables. In it, right? Right. So what do your, your family loves them with just vegetables, right? Just vegetables. And that looks really great. And it, it's so healthy for you. I love sushi because, you know, I lived in Singapore and I used to have a lot of different types of Japanese food. Um, here, we'll put that right here for you. It's rolling. And all different types of foods. So that made a real big difference to me, right? Mm -hmm. So anyhow, well, we can put these other ones right here, Terry. Put them right there on the plate. And... That looks delicious. So we have that right there. Okay. So we're fine. Sometimes we have accidents, and that was one of them. <laughs> what was that? Sugar. Sugar. Oh, good. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back on The Chef, You and I, with all of our different things that we made today so that you'll see how wonderful this Japanese meal really is. We're back on The Chef, You and I, and Terry, this was really, was it a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. It but was it actually was pretty easy, it's right? It's a lot of cutting, but. Yeah, but I, to be honest about it, it tastes great. And, you know, um, we started off with the Japanese nabiyaki udon soup, which had uh, wonderful ingredients that we'll have up on our website. Okay. And that's the soup. And it actually is delicious. I had a little, during the break, I had a little taste. It was delicious. And then we made the, actually, the Japanese-style braised pork ribs. And, and, you know, usually you see them a lot darker, but it actually, um, they taste delicious. Yes. The sauce on in them is absolutely wonderful. And you use sake and soy sauce and honey and olive oil and um, actually long green onions thinly sliced. So there they are. And then what we did um, is we made the, you made the Japanese dressing. For the salad. And I made the Japanese salad. And so it was Japanese sweet wine, champagne vinegar, sunflower seed oil, uh, hazelnut oil. Yeah. Uh, toasted sesame oil and ground ginger. And it turned out so beautiful. It tastes great, doesn't it? We had a yes, little. Yes, it does. Yeah, we did. And then what we did, we actually made our pie first so it would set. And that is green tea cheesecake. It's really a cake. It's not, it's not a pie, even though you do it in a graham cracker crust pie pan. Uh, and that was two eight-ounce containers of cream cheese softened, uh, two eggs beaten, two three-fourths cup of white sugar, one tablespoon of green tea powder, and that's why it's green, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one nine-inch gr uh, prepared graham cracker pie crust. Yes. So we made that, right? It's right. more like a pudding almost when you're making it, isn't it? Yes. I can't wait to taste it, actually. I can't imagine what it tastes like. But I think this was the most fun, making right. the sushi first time. Our attempt at making sushi, you already had done it once before. I had never done it. But once you get the, once you get the, 
you know, the hack of the learning how, down. rolling it out, <laughs> it gets easier, right? So we want to thank you today for working so hard right. and coming over and helping me. I love having you I on my shows. Uh, you do. Fun. We have a lot of fun, don't yeah. we? <laughs> so then, um, actually, uh, I would serve this with tea, hot tea, right? And maybe a little sake if you like sake. Oh yes. And but this would be a great meal for um, company even. You know, you could do the sushi first as an appetizer, right? And then the sa or the soup and the salad, and then the barbecued ribs and some sticky rice, and then for dessert, green tea <laughs> cheesecake, right? <laughs> right. So we can't wait. We want to say thank you to 360 Pans, our big sponsor, for helping with all of the preparation, right? right of that, and you can go to our code, which is up on our website, and buy the pans. Give them out for your wonderful, um, you know, as gifts right. for a shower, for Mother's Day. You can still order it. And you can go up to um, 360pans.com and order those pans. And I will put the code on it with our show. And it's also up on our website. So we want to thank you again for joining us. And we really had a good time. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bon appetit. Thank bon you, appetit. Kathy, for having me. Okay, and don't forget to go to our website at www.theshefyouandi.com where you'll see our recipes and the code. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us on the Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.